everybody, it's Shanice of Black Working Mother and this is like part two of a, another episode, right? So let's just dive right in. The myth of having it all. If you haven't read a book called Essentialism, I really urge you to find it. As a black working mother, there used to be this saying, you can have it all, right? Super, superwoman, you can have the job, the career, you can have the family life, you can have the great marriage, the great body, you can have it all. And that creates a lot of stress for you because there's all these messages telling you that, the subtle message for me there was, you can have it all, no, you should have it all, right? Then that kind of evolved. There was this whole sort of second wave of people saying, you can have it all, just not at the same time, right? And now it went from, I should have it all, but just, you know, just pace myself. When I read this book, I kid you not, it was life changing. Because this book said to me, do you want to have it all? And I was like, wait, there was an option? This was like a multiple choice question? I thought it was like a yes or no question. And just that small thing changed the way I viewed it because nobody asks you, do you want to have it all? And this is the thing. As a businesswoman, as a, an ambitious person, as a career-driven, objective-driven person who wants to achieve great things, I've always been driven to be really hardworking and to give my best in every situation. But what I've never sat to think to myself is, yes, I could have it all, but what is more important to me? Is time with my family more important? And also, here's the thing that they don't tell you about success. The more successful you become, the more opportunities are availed to you. Now, what happens when you have opportunities? You've got to choose. Now, as a business person, you think to yourself, there's only two types of opportunities, good opportunities and bad opportunities. Wrong. I'm here to tell you that there can be good opportunities, great opportunities, amazing opportunities, bad opportunities, rotten opportunities. It's like this. So what you've got to do is realize that saying no to a good opportunity is perfectly fine because you cannot have it all. You will not be able to focus and do it well anyway. So get rid of the shackles of you've got to have it all. Every opportunity have to, has to be said yes to and be comfortable saying no. Practice essentialism and only do the one or two things you feel you can be great at and you can excel at. There's nothing wrong with that. I hope that frees you up as much as it's given me freedom to say, you know what? I don't have to say yes to everything. Sometimes I can just say no, I'm gonna focus on one thing and I'm gonna do it well. And that's really helped me because I can literally just spiral. I'm spiraling in this video right now. Like I should have just said a few things and just gone off camera. I'm still talking, why am I still talking? Anyway, the point is to illustrate my point, right? That you, you should give yourself the freedom to say that, you know what, it's okay. Let me do one thing and do it well. And that's enough in this hyper world where just doing too much is celebrated. We're having 10 businesses is the in thing. Having five phones is great. Have one phone. It's not going to kill you. I'll talk to you next time on Black Working Mother.